Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss how we can look through table records inside Snowflake store procedure. First, log in to your Snowflake account. Here I have some sample database and tables that I am going to create for this tutorial. Let's create our first database. Now let's create our table. I am going to insert 4 rows in this table. I have 2 columns, one is id, one is comments. Now let's refresh and verify our data is loaded successfully. As we can see, we have loaded 4 rows in our table. Now let's create our store procedure. So I name it as a loop underscore procedure return type as a string so I, I am returning string and language as a javascript at the first line I am declaring one list this is a, this is the javascript syntax on a second line I am defining my SQL statement and on the third line I am passing that SQL statement to snowflake.execute this snowflake is a session keyword and it's a predefined and it's provided by the snowflake itself so we don't have to declare it we can directly use this snowflake variable to execute our queries on the next line let's loop through our result set so we have four rows so this while loop will execute four times and it will push our id IDs into this list and finally we will return our list so let's create this store procedure now let's test our store procedure as we can see our return type was string so it has returned all the rows all the id column rows into single string so there might be use cases where we want to return these values return these rows into a list then in that case we just need to change this return type into variant and after that we can test our store procedure now we can see it has written a list of rows so in the next tutorial we will see how the variant data type works what is its usage how we can process semi-structure data with this keyword and how we can parse this list of values into records